Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today, uh, we were having a little issue with the Toyota pickup. We were heading to the gas station, and it completely died at a red light. So then we turned it back on, but it wouldn't stay on. And we, every time we would give it gas, we would hear clicking on the passenger side dashboard. And I don't know if it was like the kick panel or behind the dashboard, but it was like the relay click. Every time we would give it gas, it would click. And we did what any good professional mechanic would do. We went on Google and we typed the symptoms. And it came back to being, uh, hopefully, being the adjuster screw on the throttle body. So there's an O-ring. A lot of people say that they're able to turn it with their nail. So that means that the O-ring is um, basically, you know, toasted. And what we did when we were doing the whole um, tune-up stuff, we actually ordered this from LCE and this adjuster screw. So this is just like a fancy screw. It looks nice, but I mean, all you really have to do is just uh, replace the O-ring on the screw that you have and then you're able to set it. So now is the time there to throw this on and see if that fixes our issue. So let's go over to the truck and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Well, and before we go to the truck, uh, this is the throttle body rebuilt kit so it comes with the throttle body gasket and these little o-rings that go inside where the little like butterfly or whatever you call that thing um sits where the shaft sits so this seals it so this was on back order so we just received it and we're gonna do it uh i don't know one of these days for now let's just focus on this so there's the screw and basically take my ugly ass thumbnail and you see you're able to turn it there should be some resistance. I guess it shouldn't turn this easy. So let me back it off all the way and pull it off and I'll show you guys what the O-ring looks like. All right, so this is a side-by-side -side and this O-ring feels like uh, plastic not rubbery it just feels like plastic so now let me put this one back on so we're going to turn it in all the way and then we're going to back it off a couple of turns and then we'll just start adjusting and let's see if it stays on so See, so that's all the way in. So we're gonna back it off two turns. Okay, so we closed it up a bit and you can actually see the difference. With that screw, we would adjust it and it would just stay the same. So we're gonna kind of find the sweet spot, maybe like around there. And hopefully this fixes our issue. But I guess you could just go to AutoZone and you know buy a kit of O-rings or online and replace this O-ring. Uh, we had an issue a couple of weeks ago. Oh, and also this is hissing, so we're gonna have to replace this or I don't know, figure something out. It's pretty loud sometimes. But anyways, we were having an issue and uh, we replaced the throttle position sensor and that got us by for a couple of weeks and now this gave out. So, so you see if we close it all the way, it cuts it off. Let me turn it back on. Now I'm gonna back it off. And it still has like a little misfire. So we're gonna try to figure that out. We're gonna replace all these vacuum lines all these right here hopefully that uh prevents any vacuum leak and there's a clicking tapping noise up here we just did the valve adjustments and i guess it's not right or something because it started clicking loud we're gonna redo that if anyone could leave a comment on what this thing does or what it is let's see if it's part number like what's the function because if it doesn't really do much we'll just remove it but that's it for this video 
Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow us on Instagram at Yonke underscore OXC Films. I'll leave that in the description down below. And we will get back to you to see if this fixed our issues. So we'll catch you in the next one.